A visit to Oahu is not complete without a visit to Shark's Cove. If you enjoy snorkeling or scuba diving and plan to visit Shark's Cove, then this video should help you out. We're going to tell you what you need to know, or basically what we wished we knew before heading out to Shark's Cove for a day of snorkeling while on the island of Oahu. Aloha everyone, this is Nancy from New Travel Escapes and today we're going to tell you all about Shark's Cove. If you like to snorkel or scuba dive, then Shark's Cove needs to be on your bucket list. Shark's Cove is a lava rock beach on the north shore of Oahu, Hawaii. It is part of the Pupukea Beach Park and it is a part of an over 80 acre MLCD or Marine Life Conservation District. Everyone who visits Shark's Cove needs to treat the area with respect both in and out of the water. It is an amazing place to see beautiful marine life, but don't forget that you're a visitor in their home. And what a spectacular home it is. Shark's Cove is a really special place, not only because of its spectacular underwater rock formations, but also because of its diverse marine life. Over the years, lava has formed underwater caves and tunnels. These caves and lava tunnels are somewhere between 15 and 45 feet, or between 4.5 and 14 meters below the surface. Understandably, this underwater ecosystem is home to a diverse and stunning array of sea life. Tropical fish like butterfly, parrot, damsel, sturgeon, and needlefish, just to name a few species that you may see at Shark's Cove, along with eels, sea turtles, and many different crustaceans. You could also spot some white-tipped reef sharks just outside the cove. So why is it called Shark's Cove? Well, it's not because there are any more sharks there than anywhere else on the island. Rather, it has been said that the outline of the outer lying reef looks similar to that of the shape of a shark when you look at it from above. I don't know. Let's jump in and let you know the things we think are helpful to know before you visit Shark's Cove. Let's start with location. Shark's Cove is located on the north shore of the island of Oahu. Driving time to Shark's Cove from Honolulu Airport, or Waikiki Beach, is about an hour. It's about 55 minutes from Koalina, and it's about 15 minutes from the town of Halieva. It is also really close to the Waimea Falls hike if you want to do a combo snorkel and easy hike day. Now let's talk about safety when visiting Shark's Cove. You need to know that there are no lifeguards stationed here. Now because Shark's Cove is made up of a ton of lava rock and coral, it is a really, 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 did I say really? Good idea to wear reef or water shoes because of the sharp corals and lava rock everywhere in the cove. As you can see, Shark's Cove is not a sand beach and the entrance is very rocky, so watch your step as you get in. The sand is also high in iron, so it does tend to stain things a reddish color. Being the person who does the laundry in our family, I would not recommend bringing white towels. Unfortunately, theft is really high on Oahu, so don't leave anything valuable unattended, either in your car or on the beach. Keep your eye on it at all times, or there is a good chance that it will be gone. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention, bring reef safe sunscreen and be diligent about applying it. It is easy to fry your shoulders when snorkeling because they're out of the water a lot, but because you're in the water, you don't often notice until it is way too late.
The best time of year to explore Shark's Cove is in the summer months when the ocean is usually a bit more calm. Because Shark's Cove is located between the famous big wave surf spots of Waimea Bay and the Bonsai Pipeline, you'll have to make sure there are no large swells the day you choose to visit. But if you are visiting Oahu during the winter, on the south side of Shark's Cove is the Pupukea Tide Poles, a great place to wade and explore if you find that the deeper Shark's Cove is too rough and you're not comfortable. There's also a much larger sand area in front of the Pupukea Tide Pools, so you shouldn't have any trouble finding a place to sit there. Shark's Cove is definitely for intermediate level snorkelers and I would not recommend it for young children, but the tide pools beside it are a great place for beginner snorkelers, not strong swimmers, and even young children to explore. It is shallow and calm and a great place to introduce snorkeling to beginners. My non-swimming 80-year-old mother-in-law was a superstar here. She put on a life jacket and a mask and snorkel and waded in to explore the tide pools. Way to go, mom. Now let's talk about the parking and the facilities at Shark's Cove. Shark's Cove is one of Oahu's best snorkeling and dive beaches, so the shore can get a little crowded. You won't notice it when you're in the water, but you will notice it when you try and park your car. Because of the popularity of Shark's Cove, the small parking lot may fill quickly. Be sure to get there by at least 9 or 10 a.m. so you'll have a place to park, or you can even try later in the afternoon when the morning crowd has left. The parking lot overlooks the beach, and at the time of this video, parking and entrance to Shark's Cove is free. There are outdoor showers with cold water to rinse off the salt and sand. There are washroom facilities. I would recommend bringing a package of tissues and some sanitizer just in case they've not restocked the bathrooms with toilet paper and soap. Just across the street from the parking lot, there are some food trucks and some small shops where you can buy food and drinks if you want to have lunch or a picnic on the beach. There is also a Foodland grocery store that sells lots of ready-made food to go like sushi, poke, sandwiches, desserts and drinks, and they sell band-aids if you don't heed my advice on the water shoe situation. We brought a 10 by 10 picnic blanket and we had no problem setting up a picnic on the beach in front of the Pupukea tide pools. There is also a grassy area and some trees for shade up closer to the road. Because of its amazing underwater world, Shark's Cove is a favorite spot among snorkelers and scuba divers and the underwater caves are a real thrill for experienced scuba divers. It would be easy to spend the better part of the day visiting Shark's Cove and because there are restrooms, showers, beach areas, food trucks and even a grocery store, it was really comfortable to spend the majority of our day here. As you can see from our footage, drones are allowed. I would also recommend an underwater camera or waterproof phone case because you never know what you're going to see. Shark's Cove was a bucket list item for me and I am so glad we got a chance to explore it during our time on Oahu. I can hardly wait to go back and see it again. We have a lot to share with you about our two-week visit to Oahu and the things we did there and where we stayed. We also have an upcoming trip to Cancun so subscribe and stay tuned for more. Mahalo for watching and we'll see you next time.